This tutorial will introduce you to Stuk, a free stock data source accessible via Python that gives you decades of daily open, high, low, close, and volume data, as well as intraday bars down to five minutes. The intraday bars post with about a 15 minute delay, which is about the same time delay as the Y Finance Python library. This makes Stuk a good match for historical equities research, dashboards, and backtests where near real-time updates are good enough. If your use case requires actual real-time stock data, you'll have to sign up for a premium API, which are easy to find online. But you're probably clicking on this video because you're frustrated with the Y Finance library. You might be seeing errors that suggest that the stock ticker data you requested doesn't exist, or that you're sending too many requests. I'm here to tell you, it's not you, it's actually Yahoo Finance. In mid-February 2025, Yahoo overhauled the pages that Y Finance scrapes, breaking its parsers overnight. Around the same time, the site began tightening its request quotas, so even freshly patched versions of the Y Finance library still hit those new limits. Nearly everything you can fetch with Y Finance is available through Stuk as a direct CSV file, making it an almost drop-in replacement. And it has offered stable, no-cost stock data downloads since the early 2000s. The only quirk of the portal is that you have to prepend a suffix to the stock names. So to get a US stock such as NVIDIA, you would request nvda.us. Let's get started with the code for pulling the data, which takes only five lines. First, install pandas to your Python environment using pip. Then switch to your code editor or Jupyter notebook and import pandas along with the datetime library. We set the ticker to the stock that we want to import followed by a suffix that identifies the country's listing. Next, we define the date window. Today for the end date, then subtract five years with time delta to mark the start. We then drop those pieces into Stuke's CSV URL using an F string. S is for the ticker symbol. D1 and D2 are for the start and end dates, which are in year, month, and date format. And then I equals D is to request daily bars. Finally, we use the pandas read CSV function to directly pull the data, set the date column to be in date time format, and set the date as the data frame's index. I've also sorted the data into chronological order. I'll go ahead and print the first five lines of the data frame, and we can see what the data looks like. If you're looking for five minute or one hour ticker data, you'll need to go to the Stuke website and do a CAPTCHA before downloading the CSV manually. You can find the code for this tutorial and a link to the intraday data in the video description below. And if you found this helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more videos on quant finance and AI.